left dance position for takeoff. to the Temple of Heaven this morning. Okay? It's a, it has a lot to do with Chinese culture. Very interesting. Uh, you'll see two things actually, two kind of things. One is the temple itself, the buildings, another is people. You'll see a lot of people there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking from the bridge. Well, as soon as we will depart, then I have to trust the ship of the bird to proceed astern as soon as I have enough space to swing it around 180 degrees and will then proceed uh, outside the port of uh, Xinjiang and then in the main channel. It's, uh, it's quite a long, uh, a long channel, so it's going to take uh, over an hour and a half uh, to two hours to clear it completely. And then we'll have the local pilot to be disembarked, pass uh, Dagu Lighthouse, which will pass on our starboard side later on. As soon as the pilot is off, we'll then set our easterly course 
into the Yellow Sea. This is the captain speaking from the bridge. Our current position is uh, latitude 38 degrees and 22 minutes north, longitude 121 degrees and 20 minutes east, uh, which place us at the northwest corner of the Yellow Sea and some 40 nautical miles of the Chinese coast on our starboard side. Your captain here on the Diamond Princess. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a very warm welcome to Captain Dino Sigali. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome on board. You have chosen a very exotic itinerary. It's a beautiful cruise in front of us. Well, so look forward for a nice hot day tomorrow, as I said, temperature 27 or over 76 Fahrenheit. So another beautiful day in Shanghai for you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. Thank you. We do we'll see that it will take approximately another 30 minutes time before the ship will be ready will be ready alongside Good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. Thank you very much. It's a very good start. And we do hope you will enjoy this half-day Okinawa tour. This is Shikinaen Garden. This Shikinaen Garden has three different styles. Japanese style, Chinese style, and Ryukyuan style you see the very beautiful pond at the center. And then visitors uh, can enjoy the garden by walking around the pond. That's the Japanese style.
welcome back on board. I hope you have enjoyed your stay here in uh, Okinawa. Everybody is back on board and we are ready to leave. Uh, as I said yesterday, unfortunately, it's an uh, early departure because we need to go full speed uh, down to Kilung. The good thing is tonight there is a uh, one hour back, so you can sleep an extra hour before arrival. We need to cover over 323 miles. And we plan to be alongside tomorrow by 9 o'clock approximately. It's quite a long maneuvering, so we have to enter, swing the ship and proceed to the berth inside the port. Uh, so by 9 o'clock we should be all docked and uh, safely berthed for you to proceed ashore. Well, I hope you enjoy the remaining of the afternoon on board and I shall come back to you tomorrow before um, departure from Kilo. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Outside, can see your decorations. Well, everybody is uh, back on board. I hope uh, you have managed to enjoy your day ashore, although, of course, the weather has not been uh, very friendly with us today. Probably the only, ha the only happy person is my boson, as he will not have to do a wash down on the decks tonight. Well, I hope you will... Uh, you have enjoyed anyway, and I'm sure you're now ready to relax and enjoy the evening and the day at sea tomorrow. Well, this weather that we are experiencing at the moment is due to the tail of the Typhoon Parma, which actually is downgrading now to a tropical storm. As we come out from the harbor, I will still have to face the swell for a while until we move towards the north part of Taiwan, and then we will alter to the west and then southwest in the Taiwan Strait. So then we will have the same rolling motion that we had overnight and on arrival this morning.
係啊，因為一定要黐㗎，嚇一定播㗎。係啊，所以冇辦法㗎，個個都要播。Right now, on the starboard side, we do have our big island night deck buffet taking place for you. If you want to stop by and see some of the culinary drinks supplied by your food and beverage department, but right now, we want the party people down on the dance floor as we carry on with your island night deck party, ladies and gentlemen. Over the floor, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Nha Trang, Vietnam. We are expecting partly cloudy skies today with a high temperature of 83 degrees Fahrenheit which is 31 degrees Celsius. 
for those passengers not booked on a Princess tour, there will be local transportation to the Dam Central Market. There may be lines at peak times and it can be very hot and humid and the transport may be basic. All passengers are reminded to carry their Vietnamese landing card when leaving and boarding the Diamond Princess today. As you disembark today, Vietnamese immigration officials will stamp your landing card. Diamond Princess will be sailing for Phu Mai this afternoon and the last tender will leave the pier at 4.30 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you're booked on one of the ship's tours today or exploring the sights of Nha Trang on your own, we hope you enjoy an excellent day ashore. Pay attention and we come back in town, right? Uh, no, we to the harbor. Oh, not come back the car. So please take a hold the luggage with you, the lay anything on the bus. Please take hold the luggage with you, the lay on the bus. All right, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good to have a good trip. Enjoy today. See you later. We have to say goodbye with you. I have a song, and we will sing together. Việt Nam Hồ Chí Minh, Việt Nam Hồ Chí Minh, Việt Nam Hồ Chí Minh, Việt Nam Hồ Chí Minh. Thank you. Officers, government officers. Yeah, 
Blessing hang on the top of the spiral incense. The incense will last for one week. So I write down here Diamond Princess, box number two. I write down happy, happiness, good luck, good health, and longevity. Is that okay? That sounds very nice. for all of you. For one dollar, I can have four blessings. I can have five if you have one more. Like this, like yes. this? This is for our chorus. Yeah, okay. Okay. together and welcome to the stage, your cruise director, here's Adam. Well, very good evening, how are we, ladies and gentlemen? Hello! Did you have a nice day today? Yeah! Isn't it absolutely wonderful? Let me get to Saigon, Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. Wonderful shop, shop till you dropped. It's wonderful there, so I hope we've had a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for coming to Showtime this evening. But what's great though, you can have a nice day off tomorrow. Is that all right with you? Yeah. A nice relaxing day, you can have a nice lie in. Hard work is on the cruise. Yes. Gotta get up in the morning and get off the ship, shop, shop, come back, fuck, eat, shows. You're knackered, aren't you? You need a vacation, don't you? Good morning and welcome to Singapore. Uh, just introduce myself again. I'm Charlotte. And, uh... Okay, hi. 
Great day ashore in Singapore, now sadly it's time for us to be on our way to Lem Jibang. All our pre-departure checks have been completed and the ship is ready to go to sea. Once clear of the harbour we'll be disembarking our pilot before crossing into the eastbound traffic lane in the Singapore Straits. Heading out into the South China Sea once more before altering onto a northerly heading up towards Lem Jibang. Sailing weather overnight is pretty good. There will be a fresh southwesterly wind, however, that will be behind the ship, so it should be quite pleasant out on the open decks. Air temperature of 26 degrees Celsius, that is 79 degrees Fahrenheit. And the forecast for tomorrow is equally encouraging. A fresh westerly wind, which will be just uh, above the beam. Slight seas, fine and dry, and an anticipated high of 30 degrees Celsius, that is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So once again, we're hoping you've had a great day ashore in Singapore and welcoming you back aboard Diamond Princess. A wonderful welcome to the, uh, the Captain's Gala party this evening. And of course, um, right now it gives me great pleasure to introduce the master of the beautiful Diamond Princess. This is going to be a huge round of applause for you as the gentleman who's paying for all of your drinks this evening. Let's give him a nice big round of applause and please welcome our captain, Captain Bob Oliver. Ladies and gentlemen, come on now, what do you say? Well, thank you, Adam, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, allow me to say how unusual it is to be welcomed aboard by passengers, particularly at the farewell party. In case those of you who uh, haven't realised Captain Zagani has not put on an awful lot of weight, turned grey and grown a beard, in fact, we did change captains in Hong Kong. One of the great privileges I always feel is that we have been lucky enough to be born in the 20th century because never has it been so easy and so possible for people to enjoy the great privilege of travel and i know that the ship's company feel privileged to have been able to take you to some wonderful out of the way places on this particular unfortunately although we don't enjoy drawing your attention to the fact that cruises were coming to an end unfortunately you will all be getting on an aircraft in the next uh, few days for me to say on behalf of the entire the rest of the ship's company, it's been a real pleasure having you sail with us, and we hope to see you again on another Princess Cruise. In the meantime, enjoy the drinks. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing Princess Cruises, and especially the Diamond Princess for your vacation at sea. For those of you remaining in Thailand, we wish you an enjoyable stay, 
And for those of you returning home, we wish you a safe and pleasant onward journey. would like to wish you the very best for your cruise on board the ship. Thank you very much you. and enjoy your cruise. Thank you.
Hi, hello, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, how are you? Kalimera. It's good morning in Greek. <laughs> You're very welcome to Santorini, which is a different island of the Greek Aegean Sea. A little bit windy today. Well, uh, it happens often here. Nectarius will drive us first to the top of the cliffs. We have to follow a very curvy but spectacular road to the top. And then we will drive you further north to the north end of Saturnia Islands and we will spend some time in this little town, which is maybe the most photogenic one. The one we call Ia in Greek, O-I-A. Kalimera, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the island of Patmos. The island of Patmos is the most northern island from the group of islands called Dodecanes, Dodecanesos, the Greek name to it, which means 12 islands. Patmos is one of the smallest and has an area of only 34 square kilometers. The 3,000 inhabitants from Patmos live in three major town. The first one is this one here where we are right now. This is the town of Scala, which is the biggest town of them all, with about 1,600 inhabitants.
Of course, they were using these places for the honoring of their emperors, same time, giving their the names of the emperors to these places. That's been called the Trajan Fountain. Trajan, the Roman in front of the Hadrian Temple. That temple has been reconstructed, of course, but a beautiful architectural example of the Roman time with an Assyrian influence, very oriental influence, you can see on the decorations. That is a crossroad of the main streets, Marble Street going to the Great Theater, the Embelos, the Kuret Street up to Acropolis. This is the entrance into the residential area of the rich people. And here we have actually at that crossroad the library. southwest of Cyprus as we continue on a southeasterly course of 118 degrees. Present weather conditions is partly cloudy skies with a light southerly breeze of 4 knots. Air temperature is 24 degrees Celsius which is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Forecasts for Haifa is clear and sunny, northerly winds of 9 knots and a maximum air temperature of 27 degrees Celsius which is 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Well ladies and gentlemen have a pleasant afternoon on board the wonderful Royal Princess. phrases from the Sermon of the Mount. We, we don't know exactly where Jesus was when he, he preached the sermon. Was he at this point? Was he a little further down? No older churches exist at this location. This church was built in the 1930s. It's a very likely location. I'm sorry, but I just don't want to stand in the sun and wait. I just wanted to stand in the shade and wait.
If you look through, you're getting a very beautiful view over the Jezreel Valley, Jezreel Valley or the Plain of Armageddon. Plain of Armageddon? Yeah, the Plain of Armageddon. place where, according to Revelations, the final battle will take place. that you request to be back on board by 7.30 this evening and shortly after we will sail for Port Said, Egypt. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day in Ashland. I will begin with Psalms, chapter 150. Praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty ferment, praise him in his mighty deeds, seedings greatness, praise him with trumpet sounds that you just heard, praise him with lute and harp, praise him with timbers and timbre. <laughs> Onto that handkerchief. And that is what we call the photo icon, the first icon of Jesus. And due to that, due to that um, proto icon, everyone knows what Jesus looks like. Jesus has this long hair, he has this deep brown eyes.
Thank you, Boss Number Four. Thank you so much. I want to eat something, please. I want to eat, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I want to cross one dial. Okay, in Jerusalem, many of you saw TV aerials and uh, satellite dishes. On the way now to the harbor, we're going to see very big satellite dishes for the telephone in Israel. Even though Jerusalem, I told you that you have to open up your sixth sense in order to connect to God. At the end of the day, everyone connects onto cable TV, satellite TV. You have come tonight to the most fabulous and celebrated place in the world. Here on the plateau of Gizeh stands forever the mightiest of human achievements. No traveler, emperor, merchant or poet has trodden on these sands and not gasped in awe. The curtain of night is about to rise and disclose the stage on which the drama of a civilization took place. Those involved have been present since the dawn of history, pitched stubbornly against sand and wind. And the voice of the desert has crossed the centuries.
destruction in the history of man. It's 4,800 years old. You see, Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking from the bridge for an important uh, message. As many of you have uh, seen this morning, the weather conditions are not very good. In addition, and unfortunately, also the weather forecast for the rest of the day is very unfavorable. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, for the safety of all on board and the safety of the entire ship, I decide to abort the call of split. I understand uh, the disappointment uh, for cancelling the port, uh, but the safety on board uh, of everybody and the vessel is my priority and have a good day on board the Royal Princess.